Today is the National Day of Prayer. What a glorious thing to have a day when we can come together and pray for our nation. And more exciting than that, you know something about using your faith as we pray. That's powerful. And when we use our faith in prayer together, Jesus, the I Am, is in our midst. This year's theme is unity in our nation. One nation under God, bless the Lord, indivisible. Indivisible. Indivisible from Him indivisible from His plan, indivisible from one another, indivisible from the Word of God, indivisible. But only as we look to Him, because without Him there isn't any unity. We can't unify ourselves, but He can do it. We can't unify ourselves, but prayer will work to bring us together because it involves God by the Spirit in the name of Jesus. And that is a powerful combination. There's a scripture that comes to my mind that I so enjoy in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 9, making known to us the mystery of His will. And it's this, in accordance with His good pleasure, His merciful intention, which He previously purposed and He set forth in Jesus, He planned for the maturity of the times and the climax of the ages to unify all things and head them up in Christ. That sums up the will of God. In His mercy, He wants to bring everything together in unity. It's a sign of the times. And we're ripe. We know this is the end of the, end of the age. And so we're ripe for this manifestation of God's will, a sweeping move, and we'll know that it's the hand of the Lord to bring this nation together. But it's only under Jesus' leadership and headship. Will you pray with me right now? Father, in the name of Jesus, as Christians, believers, who know something about using our faith, we set our faith in this scripture, Lord. We set our faith in your merciful intention. We set our faith in your plan. We set our faith in this end time purpose that you have to unify us and bring us together under the leadership and headship of the Lord Jesus. We lift the United States of America to you and all its components, the government, the, the families, the races, the, the school systems, Lord, all throughout the nation, that Lord, we'd come together. Not that every thought and every idea is the same, but whatever our thoughts and ideas are, are, are we're together, indivisible, with one heart, one purpose, one plan, all under the leadership of Jesus, the anointed one. Father, we look to you for that. We ask for it. We believe for it. We claim it in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that you hear our prayer. You're faithful to hear our prayer. And we believe that we receive this mighty move of God coast to coast, border to border, from the inside out and everywhere in between. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for the unity of the faith working in the church most of all. Unity for a nation begins in unity among the brethren. Oh, Lord, we thank you for it. We thank you that it's something only you can do, but you can do it. We thank you for it. We praise you for it. We love you for it. It's proof among all proofs that you are God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now begin to thank God today and from now on, no matter what you see, we have unity in our nation, indivisible, under God, by faith, in Jesus' name.